Hello viewers, this is Hey Rotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride, for the Nintendo DS. Previously, Madison and Harry arrived here at Heavens Above Abbey with Maria. Maria has opted to stay and join the Sisters of the Above, but Madison and Harry will now travel to try to find more information about Madison's mother. I'm obviously worried about what's happening over in Coburg, but I think it's for the best if I stay away. I'm just going to forget about the place. I'll keep traveling with you until I figure out my own way in the world. Well, you're welcome to stay with me, Harry. There's nothing better than being free to walk around outdoors whenever the fancy takes you. Come to think of it, I hardly ever set foot outside Coburg Castle back in those days. What a waste. Lovely weather we've been having, don't you think? The grass smells wonderful. So, now Madison can truly begin his adventure. To the north of the Abbey we find this town, Fortuna. And here it is on the map. And this is a map of the town. Phew, what a lively place. Just looking at everyone running around makes me dizzy. This here is the town of Fortuna, the land of hope and glory. Land of hope and glory? I don't really have any particular hopes at the moment as far as I know. Oh, come on. Don't look like that. There's nothing too pressing we need to do right now. Loosen up. Do you know about the old curiosity shop? No, do tell. No? It's a real strange place on the far west side of town. Ah, oh, we might check it out later. If the residents of Fortuna themselves think it's a weird shop, it must be really weird. Nothing in those drawers. Hello, you look like fellow travelers. I'm a traveling salesman, you know. I came here from the northwest, past a dismal-looking town on the way, it looked really run down. Oh, really? I couldn't believe people were actually living in a place like that. Interesting. I may have to check it out. Well, if there's a place as lively as this, there must be somewhere else that's the opposite extreme. I wonder what's happened to Coburg while I've been away. Mind you, I suppose it's nothing to do with me anymore, is it? Well, you never know, Harry. Nothing in those drawers. But in that one, we get a TNT ticket. We'll soon find out why we are collecting these tickets. So, let's go downstairs and get out of the inn for now. Hey, you guys sure are early. Not that I blame you. The food and beds here are the best you'll ever get. And all for only ten bucks a night. I'm pretty much giving it to you for free, huh? What do you say? You wanna stay, right? Oh, not right now. Huh. Well, don't come crying to me if you go and get yourselves deaded. Deaded? I'm not sure that's a word, innkeeper. Oh man, I lost again. I just... I guess there's just no such thing as a quick buck in this life. He lost? At what? I wonder what kind of things go on in this town. Well, there is a big casino just to the north of us, you see. This here appears to be the weapon shop. Oh, 
Oh, they have edged boomerangs here. However, we do not need to buy them. Want a drink, my friend? What's that? You don't drink alcohol. Most people your age just love the stuff. I might be way off base here, but I'm guessing you come from a pretty down and out kind of background, huh? Am I right? You're not far wrong there. Right. I suppose we are old enough to drink now, aren't we? <laughs> Depending on the laws of the place where you are, of course. Meow. Hello, kitty. Oh, there's a house over here. I gotta get dinner on the table before my old man and son get home. You look like travelers to me. Don't you miss having a home to go back to in the evening? No, I guess you're too young to feel like that yet, huh? I'll tell you something. I don't mind not being able to go back to that Zugzwang shrine. Talk about a living hell. Yes, I bet, Harry. No one upstairs. No pots and barrels to break. No wardrobe to rifle through. Ah, here is the item shop. And here is the armor shop. Well, hi there. Know what I just heard? Do tell. Apparently, there's a spell called Peep that tells you all kinds of stuff about items and things. Actually, we have that spell now. There are certainly some really useful spells to be learnt, aren't there? Why, yes there are, Harry. Yes there are. There's some armor on display. Fancy that. Oh, hi there. Oh, you're one of my husband's pals? What do you make of it, then? What do we make of what, ma'am? He keeps talking about going to do business in this big castle town, way up in the northeast. But I've heard some pretty scary things about that place. I don't know if it's such a great idea. Are you talking about Coburg? A castle town in the northeast? Well, it can't be Coburg. Coburg's a respectable place. There's certainly nothing scary about Coburg. That barrel has a TNT ticket. Nice. And we get a seed of resilience from those drawers. Very good as well. Now let's go downstairs and out of this house. Shop. Whatever. Let's go in through the main door. And see what they have to sell. Looks like some... old stuff. Thank you, but no thank you, sir. We'll look elsewhere. Yeehaw, ye few, yeehaw, ye few. Okay. What sort of lazy cowboy sleeps like that in the middle of the day? Uh, maybe someone who works at night, Harry. Nothing in those drawers. Anything in this house? Time don't stop for no one, you know. It just keeps marching on. Fortuna was just a tiny little village when I was growing up, but ever since they made that bridge to the north, folk have been flocking in. Must be ten years now since it was made, I guess.
time marches on, it certainly didn't feel like it during all those years of slavery. But it's rather strange, you know. When I look back on it now, it does almost seem like it was over in a flash. We look at these bookshelves. No books of particular interest. Ah, oh, here's a well. Always check wells in Dragon Quest games. There's nothing in that well. Ka ha ha ha! Well, 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 well. I am Mystic Ridula, please. The Fortuna Fortune Teller of Fortunes. Ka ha 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 ha! Usually, I am only telling fortunes at night, but for a handsome young lovely like you, I will be doing it any time of day. Ka ha ha ha! Okay. Yes, the big, big hand of evil is casting a whopper of a shadow over the world. Ha 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 ha! Believe it if you will, or don't if you will not, I am telling only what I see. All right, Ms. Mridula. Well, anyone could have told you that, couldn't they? Fortune teller or no fortune teller? Well, maybe. Anyway, those drawers contain a medicinal herb. Such a valuable find. I'm not sure what I'd have done without it. You want something, mister? I'm kinda busy right now. I'm playing hide-and-go-seek. We can talk later, okay? Uh, Alright, kiddo. What? Mister? I'm not a mister yet, am I? I'm not that old, surely. Well, to that little kid you probably are. Hey, mister, can't you go talk to someone else? He's gonna find me. Mister? 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 Down these stairs we find the jail. This is the town prison. If you want to talk to the inmates, better do it through the bars. It's hard to turn a blind eye when you see people confined in such tiny cells. I mean, it's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Well, that depends on what they've done. The door is locked. Let's use the talk option. I still can't believe I got found out. I've been cheating in that casino for years. Oh, have you now? I guess I peaked too soon. Nothing's gonna beat the days when I used to kidnap people and sell them to the highest bidder. Oh, you lowlife. He used to kidnap people? Yet you don't think he's one of the thugs who took me from the castle all those years ago, do you? Unbelievable. And to think I almost felt sorry for the people in these cells. He can stay in here for life as far as I'm concerned. Indeed. That door is locked. We'll need special keys to open the doors down here. Welcome. Here's another armor shop. You can read, right? Like the sign says, customers only through here. Yes, this armor shop person is a bit annoying. You can't go through without him offering his wares. There are some improvements here, but I think I'll wait a while. I came here because I'd always dreamt of becoming a dancer. I'm going to do it. I won't let anyone put me off. I'll be the smoothest swinger in town. <laughs> it's a fine thing for a person to have dreams and ambitions. Mind you, I don't need to tell you that, do I? Yes, I think I need a dream. 
Perhaps I'll come across something with all this traveling I'm doing now. No passage without purchase. Store customers only, please. No passage without purchase. It does look like a great shortcut, though, doesn't it? Yes, this armor shop salesman is quite a jerk. And here we have... Rainbows and Gold Bank, protecting your hard-earned gold from the likes of monsters and criminals. Here at Rainbow's End, we only deal in units of a thousand gold coins. That goes for deposits and withdrawals alike. And we don't even charge you any fees. So, Madison, what can we be doing for you? Nothing right now, thank you. You've changed your mind, have you? Not to worry. Rainbow's End Gold Bank will be here for you when you need it. We're not keeping any gold for yourself at the moment, Madison, but we look forward to serving you again in the future. All right. And what have we here? I'm Monty, the famous Monster Monitor, but I'm sure you've heard of me, haven't you? Uh, not really, no. Huh? You haven't heard of me? Oh, well. Hmm, there's a twinkle in your eye that I like, mister. A kind twinkle, and a sharp one at that. I wouldn't mind betting you could tame monsters and get them to join your party, you know. Oh, really? What? How would you go about that? Aha! Let me explain. First, you need to get hold of a wagon. Then you need to fight the monsters, but not with any malice in your heart. No, you need to feel the love. When the monsters feel your compassion, they'll ask if they can join your party. But they only respect adversaries who are stronger than them, which means you need to defeat them first. Well, did you follow all that? Yes, I did, sir. Good. I bet someone like you could befriend dozens of monsters. Of course, having a wagon will let you take a lot of monsters around with you, but even then there are limits. And that's where I come in. I can look after your surplus if you like. I like, I like. D do you really think it's possible to befriend monsters? It'd be absolutely incredible if it was. We need to try this out at once. Oh, we will, Harry, we will. Hi, I'm like Monty's assistant, Carla. Hello, Carla. You know, if you, like, want to get monsters to do what you say, you've got to wait till they're, like, way wise. If you can get their wisdom up to, like, 20 or more, they should pretty much do what you tell them. Guess you better, like, leave them in your wagon or something until they wise up. All right, Carla. A bunny girl? Do you think Monty makes her wear that? As a uniform, I mean? Ugh, I shudder to think. Maybe Monty's is just a dirty old man. And that pot contains a pot lid. And this one has some monster munchies. In the next episode, we'll continue exploring the town of Fortuna. This is Hair Rotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.